Week 5 Operation Football will start in Class B in what is turning out to be an annual stop on our monster matchup tour. Elkhorn and Bennington, two of the top three teams in the class so far this year. KETV News Watch 7's Matt Foster is live in Bennington. Hey, Matt. Andy, the last time Bennington and Elkhorn played, it was about 40 degrees colder and a spot for the in the state final was up for grabs. Now, not as cold tonight and not as much on the line, but still a huge Class B showdown between the Badgers and Antlers. It was actually homecoming night here at Badger Stadium. They had some postgame fireworks, but Elkhorn got the fireworks going on their opening drive. The Antlers marched right down the field, KJ Schenk, Schenk caps the drive with a six yard score. Elkhorn up seven, nothing through one quarter. But the Badgers finally get on the board in the second. Trey Bird drops a dime to Oz Isaac Connor. PAT would be no good, so it's seven, six. But right before the half, Elkhorn trying to run out the clock and they fumble. Gus Neary there to pounce and the Badgers would cash in. First play of the drive, Bird rolling to his right and finds Ben Jorgensen. You got Moss, my dude. 13-7 Badgers at the break. Opening drive of the third quarter, Badgers keep it rolling. A connection so nice, they do it twice. Bird to Connor up the seam. Bennington with 27 unanswered points. But Connor Hunt gets the antlers back in it. The keeper from a yard out brings Elkhorn within 13, but the antlers could not stop that Bird and Connor connection. On fourth down, the duo links up again for their third touchdown of the game. This one good from 50 yards out, and Bennington goes on to win it, 41 to 21. I was really happy to see our offense come out and play the way they did. You only scored 13, but the way we played, we moved the ball, which is you look at the first four games, uh, wasn't as consistent as what we had tonight. So while you, I say a slow start, I thought we did really well. Uh, Elkhorn is a fantastic team. They play phenomenal defense. Um, and so the way that we were able to get things going, I felt good coming out in the second half that we might be able to turn some things up and get going. Bennington has now won 18 straight games, but more importantly, the Badgers are now 5-0. Reporting at Bennington High School, Matt Foster, KETV Newswatch 7 Sports. All right, thank you, Matt. Gross Catholic riding high, still undefeated on the year. Can they keep pace? Fast forward, second half, Cougars already up 28-0. Quarterback Colby Duncan can't find anyone, so why not do it yourself? Leaping into the end zone makes it 35-zip. Fourth, fourth quarter, same score, designed run for Duncan this time, and this time he stays on his feet into the end zone. Gross. Rolling. Jake Garcia wins the race to the corner. Big night for the Cougars. They win 49 to 7. All right, let's do Blair at my Mount Michael, the Duchenne cheerleaders cheering on the Knights. Blair up 7 0 just before half. It's Brody Sukup. Bodie Sukup throws to Deshaun Unger. And look at Unger go. Weaving and breaking tackles left and right. Blair goes on to win 23 3. All right, Tayshawn Porter ran for three touchdowns and sophomore quarterback Sebastian Serco threw for three more, helping Omaha North flank Omaha Central 40 to nothing last night. The Vikings improved to four and one on the season. All right, let's dance on over to West Side, shall we? The top ranked Warriors hosting Norfolk. This is Kurt Kubrick, who rips off this 48 yard run. He would later knock it in for a touchdown from a yard out. Though Westside's starting quarterback, Anthony Rezac, would leave the game with an apparent thumb or hand injury. So enter quarterback A.J. Holstrom, hands it to Jamez Ross. One yard touchdown, Westside rolls. Warriors now 5-0. Zane Flores and the Dragons of Gretna taking on Bellevue East. Dragons on the road. The future Oklahoma State quarterback and Flores finding Blake Moore for the score. 14-0 Gretna. Later in the first, East quarterback. Oh, he's going to get hit big in the pocket, picked off by Alex Wilcoxon, and the junior makes it a 45-yard house call. Gretna just too much, a big road win for the Dragons. They went 63-9. Omaha Northwest, Elkhorn South, homecoming for current Husker and former Elkhorn South star Teddy Prohaska. This one all storm. Carson Rahner, the screen to Cole Ballard, and Cole Ballard doing Cole Ballard things. 37 yards for the touchdown reception. Then next time up, it's Ballard, this time a touchdown run. 44 yards, Elkhorn South wins big 
and I mean big. Storm now 5 and 0. Oh. How about Creighton Prep and Burke High School? These two share a home field. Burke, the home team in this one. The star of the show tonight for the Junior Jays, number six, Marty Brown. Charmer Brown would score the first touchdown of the day for Prep on this running play. And then like, the same thing. It worked this last time. Give it to him again. Marty Brown again. And look at him run. Yeah, Creighton Prep rolls, blanking Burke, 37 to nothing. Bellevue West lost back to back games for the first time in eight years. So they need to bounce back and they get to Omaha South. First quarter, CJ Goff works his way to the end zone for the score, makes it 38 nothing. Next drive, Isaiah McMorris, the screen, and the junior turning on the burners. This one all Bell West tonight. Daniel Kalen finding Davon Hall. Here, yeah, uh, T-Birds rolling in this one, 68-17. How about South Sioux City and Millard West? The Wildcats offense, simply too much for the Cardinals. Wildcats QB, Brayton Johnson, putting it in the stomach of the running back for a touchdown. Then the next play, the Cardinals picked off by Easton Barons. Millard West wins. 63 to nothing. All right, halftime up here at Operation Football. Up next, our fan favorite game, Fort Calhoun at Platteview. And a cool thing with the, pro, the Pioneers and the Trojans, the dance teams from both schools met at a summer dance camp. They became friendly. They decided to choreograph a routine together. How cool is that? So they performed together at halftime. More Operation Football after this.